Good morning, I'm the Mainly Digger, and I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. I am doing outstanding. I just pulled a 12-hour shift. I'm doing some metal detecting in a public boat landing or public beach. Maine has a lot of lakes, and it has a lot of beaches. So if you ever, if you ever want to come to Maine and not go to the ocean, but you still want that beach experience, you got it. Any, anywhere there's a lake or there's a pond, there's a public beach. Come to Maine, enjoy the public beaches. Enjoy private beach, whatever, there's still beaches. Anyway, I am in Belgrade, the famous, infamous Belgrade Lakes region, which is known for its fishing. There's so many lakes here. I swear, like, if you drive and you close your eyes for a second, you'll, you'll find another lake or another waterway, or another stream, or river, or creek, or whatever you want to call it, there's another waterway right there. So I'm going to be metal detecting, and I'll stop talking. This place is gorgeous. First find of the day is, uh, I have no idea what it is. So, uh, I'm gonna put it in my pocket and find out later, maybe. Oh, uh, what is this? I don't know, a little bundle. Open it up and see. A little present, could be the first coin of the day. Who knows? It is definitely an old penny or old something. It is old. It's been in there for a while. It is crusty. I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm not gonna do anything more with it right now, but mmm. Yes. Maybe it's a penny. Maybe not. Who knows? We will find out. So I started over there. There was a lot of junk in that area. Not a lot of coins or anything. Not no good signals. Not even like relicy, like irony stuff. Eventually, I'm gonna go. There's a playground over there. I'll go over and cover couple of, you know, I'll make, make my way around. Actually, we're going to the reverse. So I'm going to start making my way this way and go around and then hit up the playground. Just a quick, quick hunt here and there. You know, I'm not digging large holes, not digging deep holes. I, uh, man, there's no one here. I can talk as loud as I want. I just realized there is no one here right now. I can run my mouth as much as I want. Mainly they go out. 1982 Memorial Penny. Good times. Still, it's still gorgeous. And I'm, I gotta get detecting. I keep focusing on how pretty it is. I'm not getting any detecting done. 1983. Another good year. 1970. That isn't, I just like the color. Like it's not. It's not too corroded, but you can, it's got some age to it. That is cool. Oh, another penny from the 70s. That took a good minute to dig out. Just a pen for something. I don't know if they're holding something down. Oh, penny from 1980. No idea what that is. It look, could be a ring or a broke piece of jewelry. Who knows, I'll have to go home and test it. Look at that, came out just like that. That is awesome. Clean it up, see what it is. For maybe the first weedy of the day, it is definitely the first confirmed weedy of the day. The year is unconfirmed, I'll have to go home and clean that up. Look at that, open it up and it's right there. Oh, oh two. That is awesome. Clean off the, clean them up and get the date. So one is.
pretty cool. Dime from the 70s, that is awesome, 1976. Another dime from 1987. I literally just found that dime, or another dime right there. And there's this dime right here. So someone's dropping dimes, ha ha ha. So I'm slowly making my way back down this road right here. This you can tell was a boat launch at one time because it, it has an in and out and then it had some other stuff there. So I don't know the history of this place. I know I can tell it was a boat launch. I've been to many of boat launches in my time. The, uh, the actually launch itself is not here. Or they don't use it anymore. But there's definitely spots to put in canoes everywhere, anywhere really. That's a parking lot that I'm walking back to. My my car is down that way. But this there's this is a nice day. This is like a nice day walk in the park for me. Metal detecting. Amazing, amazing park. Definitely be back here. It's public, it's quiet, it's in Belgrade. Good times. Penny from the 80s. That is another cool find. That's all I love finding pennies. 80s and below. 90s, not so much. Relics. That, I don't know if that's a square nail or not or what it is, but that is a sharp point. I'm glad I didn't poke that into my hands. I should have been wearing gloves. I don't know what this is either, but it's irony. It was a nice signal, so I dug it. Bam. So, end of my video, my review. I, uh, a couple of interesting things, one or two. These two things, I don't know what they are. I think that one might be, might be lead. So I'm gonna try and see if it is lead by testing it. And then this thing, it might be silver. There's no markings on it. It might be costume jewelry. It might, might have been earring. I don't know what it is. It looks cool. I wanna find out if it's silver. And then these two are wheat pennies. I'm pretty sure this is a wheat penny. I, I'm pretty sure I can almost see. I've been wrong before. So I'm gonna go home, clean this bad boy off, clean both of them off, find the dates on them, and see if they, what year they are. That'd be awesome. This one looks, this one was too crusty, and I'll show a picture, or look at the video again. This one was too crusty not to be really old. We will see, we will see. I broke, I broke my record of not finding, I went, at least four hunts without finding a pull tab uh, with the AT Pro. So I found a pull tab, broke my record. And uh, yeah, so my, my GoPro keeps turning off. Anyway, and then I found these relicy. I don't know if that's a square nail or not. That's a really sharp tip though. And then this, and then this came up as a really good signal, junk, but Couple of coins from the 80s, 70s, a lot of coins, a lot of, a lot of pennies from the 70s. I am ready to go home. I had a good day. This place is gorgeous if you look around. It's another spot. I can't mention how gorgeous this place is. Look at that. So, I'm lucky to live in Maine. Maine is an amazing place. It, uh, like the attitude in Maine, it doesn't matter what your poli politics are, is as long as you're not doing something wrong, as long as you're not screwing someone else over in the future, no one cares. And that's mostly how the, the, the attitude in Maine is. Don't be an ass. That's, that's it. Love this place. Love, love the Maine attitude. That's, that's why I, I, I've come back to Maine after so many times of leaving. It's, it's just a gorgeous place. All right, I'll stop talking now. Mainly dig out.